Welcome to another video of this video series. My name is Dr. Leo. I am a medical doctor and I specialize in teaching healthy lifestyle. And on this channel, in collaboration with Novalab, we are sharing free informative content with you so that you can learn how to feel and age better. In today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about the aging process in more detail, as well as how to turn on anti-aging hormones within us so that we age slower and more gracefully and so that we can add quality years to our life. If you like these video topics and you want to stay informed, then make sure to like this video as well as subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss the next ones. So to start off this video, let's go over aging. What is aging and what are the biochemical and genetic processes that are going on in the background and are causing the changes that we see as we grow older? Aging can be defined as the time-related deterioration in normal physiological function. And there are various biochemical and genetic processes that are going on in the background causing these changes that we see one of them being the accumulation of biocellular junk so basically as our cells are undergoing normal metabolism they produce so-called garbage in the cells and some of this garbage we're able to use up we're able to destroy we are able to recycle whereas some of it we can actually not process and therefore it accumulates over time affecting the cells ability to function normally and regenerate as it normally would another biochemical process implicated in aging is the production of reactive oxygen species now reactive oxygen species are chemicals that our body produces during normal metabolism during exercise as well as during inflammatory processes as we talked about in the last video and these chemicals have not been completely chemically neutralized if you will so they're still reactive they are still able to react chemically with the proteins and fats and carbohydrates in our cells as well as dna damaging our genetic material and we can see actually with reactive oxygen species that this is the reason why caloric restriction tends to prolong life because when we eat less calories we produce less reactive oxygen species and therefore we sustain less damage at a, or damage at a slower rate than we would otherwise a process that is involved in aging that is more so a genetic process is actually that of telomere now telomeres are basically caps at the end of our chromosomes that protect our DNA from being damaged when it is being replicated and the thing that happens as we age and as our cells are dividing more and more times is that these telomeres these caps of DNA actually grow shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter until in the end the so-called Hayflick limit it actually is so short that your cell is unable to divide without damaging the DNA and this is where a lot of cells go into senescence or they just stop dividing and it is also involved in cancer cells that actually ignore this and use an enzyme called telomerase to artificially prolong these telomeres and be able to divide infinitely this is why cancer cells from a genetic point of view can be thought of as immortal because they can divide an unlimited amount of times without their dna becoming shorter the result of these small changes over time is the gradual failure of organ systems as well as the diseases associated with aging now as our understanding of aging develops new strategies to combat aging such as gene therapy and stem cell therapy are becoming more and more promising however you do not have to go as far as to get treatment in order to slow down the aging process there are things that you and i can both do from home in order to prolong our health span one very interesting hormone that we can increase the levels of within our bodies is a hormone called fibroblast growth factor 21 or in short fgf 21 being discovered in the early 2000s this hormone has since had many studies investigating its benefits for example when fgf1 is injected into overweight captive monkeys they get an average 27 percent drop in their body fat without decreasing the calories they eat also take a look at this study which found that mice who were continuously exposed to this hormone increased their lifespan by 30 to 40 percent which is about the same life extension achieved from lifelong caloric restriction. However, with FGF21, they achieved it again without decreasing their food intake. Though pharmaceutical companies are salivating at the prospect of making a drug that can artificially boost the levels of FGF21, is there a way that we can naturally do this and thereby enjoy all the benefits accrued to us through this hormone, such as more weight loss, better metabolic health, or better insulin sensitivity, as well as slowing down the aging process. To find out, let's look at a few more studies. And as you can see from many of the titles of these studies, FGF21 has been dubbed by many 
the starvation hormone. And although mice show an increase in FGF21 after only six hours without food or six hours of fasting, humans need to fast as long as 10 days to get such a boost. And obviously this is not a good or sustainable way for us to achieve a boost in this anti-aging hormone long term. Exercise does seem to boost this anti-aging hormone. With this study showing a 25% increase in hormone levels for those doing cardio, while a 42% increase was seen in participants doing a resistance training. Food-wise, we can increase the levels of FGF21 within our bodies by eating more unrefined carbohydrates or less protein within our diets. Whole grains and legumes seem to be good foods for us to focus on incorporating more of because they stimulate butyrate production within our guts, which in turn stimulates the production of FGF21. This is because the gut bacteria, the healthy bacteria within our gut, actually produces butyrate in response to the fiber in the food that we eat. As we mentioned, the lower levels of protein in our diets can also boost this hormone. Take a look at this study where they took men eating a typical excess of over 110 grams of protein per day and brought them down to around 73 grams of protein a day, which by the way is still above the recommended protein intake for most men. And they saw a six-fold increase in FGF21 within a single week, along with improved insulin sensitivity, which is an important marker for metabolic health. What does this reduction of protein mean in practical terms though? Well, it turns out that meat and certain animal products are very high in these proteins and certain amino acids that specifically inhibit FGF21 production in the human body. Body. and replacing these with plant-based protein sources will usually shift your diet towards a more healthy protein profile and this is exactly what this study found where they compared people eating different diets and found that people eating plant-based had markedly higher FGF levels than those eating meat and these levels actually increased after only four days of putting the meat eaters on a vegetarian diet okay so in summary if you do want to increase this anti-aging hormone within your body there are a few easy things that easy steps that we can take in our life to do so and enjoy the benefits of reduced weight even without having to reduce calories better metabolic health and as I said a more graceful slower aging process with time one of those things is going to be exercise specifically resistance type exercise seems to be a very good way to boost FGF 21 levels within our bodies the other is to increase fiber through things like legumes and whole grains which allow our gut bacteria to produce more of the short chain fatty acids butyrate which in turn will stimulate the production of FGF 21 in our bodies and then the third way is to reduce our protein levels from the regular excess amount of protein that most people eat to a more normal or recommended level of protein which is around 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight i really do hope that you guys found this interesting i found this topic to be very fascinating it's always very cool to see that we can actually make some slight changes in our lifestyle and get some really really big changes in our health and our aging if you did enjoy this video like i said before do make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment as well with what kind of videos you want to see in the future so that we can see what you want to see more of. we are always here to serve you so do leave a comment down below and we might pick your video suggestion for one of our upcoming videos so with that once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video